Well, hello there, beautiful. Welcome back to the Tea Room. It's time for Tea with Tamara. Today, I will be sharing a very first on my channel. So you guys, I've been wanting to try a beauty subscription for since forever, and I finally bit the bullet and I decided to go with a beauty subscription to Ipsy. If you don't know what Ipsy is, because you may not know, you may not have heard, it is a beauty subscription box, and it's a monthly beauty subscription box in where you pay $10 a month and you get to try five different samples of beauty items, makeup, cosmetics, beauty related items um, for your liking. And basically you go on to Ipsy's website, you fill out the questionnaire and they kind of tailor the bag according to your likes and dislikes. So. I decided to try it out because I've been watching everybody else's awesome Ipsy unbagging videos and I, like I said, have been wanting to try this. This is a great way to try out makeup without having to make the huge investment of purchasing a full size product. So you get five different um, samples and they're smaller samples. Sometimes they're deluxe size samples of beauty items that maybe you've been curious about or you've wanted to try out. So I signed up and I got my very first bag yesterday in the mail and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. Um, so you get a little card in your um, bag that comes with it and it basically is just encouraging you to go on to Ipsy's website and write a review on the products that came in your bag. Um, this card doesn't really give you any, any information about the products per se. It just is like a little card to tell you go on Ipsy and fill out the reviews and play with your stuff, your makeup stuff. Okay. So it's, I don't really know what the purpose of this card is except for that. So I'm just telling you what comes in the bag. So you have that. And then of course it comes in this fabulous pink envelope of which I wish I could find another use for this to use it. Maybe I can rip off the shipping label and mail something out to somebody else. I don't know, but classic hot pink metallic bag that houses your Ipsy glam bag. So every person who has Ipsy who sees this in the mail gets very happy as I did yesterday. So this is the actual little makeup bag that you get and each month you get a different glam bag. And this month's bag was designed by the girl artist Valfrey. So she drew all of these little, um, characters here on the bag and I guess because it's October and it's Halloween they went with a Halloween theme I am not a celebrator of Halloween like that um so yeah it's cute but yeah not really my um zhuzh okay but to each his own but this is what this month's bag looks like it's a good quality bag I mean it's a sturdy little makeup bag I'm not sure what I would use this for or if I would even repurpose this um, because again I'm not into Halloween stuff but this is what they have there so let's just dig right into the bag and see what I got this month which I'm gonna confess I already did take a little sneaky peek um, because I just could not wait and um, I already know what's in there but you don't know what's in there so I'm gonna show you what's in my bag so the first thing that I pulled out was this makeup forever ultra HD foundation and you guys I they tell you on the website like you can preview what's in the bag and I saw that this was on there and I was a little nervous because I was like are they gonna get um, give me a foundation that's not my color well as you can see and if you heard that noise in the background one of my kids just came home from school so sorry but um, as you can see they did give me a foundation that is in my shade range now I don't know if it's going to be an exact match but this is what it looks like and it's the color Y505 and I am going to just give you a little bit of a swatch there. Um, this might work for me you guys. That might work. It seems to be pulling really yellow on me but um, that might work. We'll see. I'm going to get a little thing to wipe my finger off there but yeah I have not um, had the pleasure of trying anything um, 
any foundation from makeup forever so we'll see how that works i'm gonna sip my tea because i forgot to tell you guys what i was sipping on because i've been laxing on that lately in my videos but Here's my teacup. I'm still drinking my tea. I'm drinking pumpkin spice tea mm, from Timothy's Tea. And you guys, I amped up the flavor and I put a little bit of my pumpkin pie spice coffee creamer in there. Yes, it's like a pumpkin spice chai latte, okay? You have to try it. But yeah, pumpkin spice tea from Timothy's Tea and it's good stuff. So I digress back to what's in my bag so yes that's the first thing the second thing that i'm going to show you is this eyeshadow brush and this is by lottie london and it's cute and it's pink and i love it and i could use another flat shading brush so yeah i'm glad i'll see how this works out for me but yeah i'm glad to have another brush in my brush collection i also got a liquid eyeliner and this is by eyeliner eyeliner this is by siate london and it's the fierce flicks and it looks like it's in the color black i think that's what it is. It doesn't really say the name of it, but I'm pretty sure it's black. But yeah, I got a liquid eyeliner pen and I love liquid eyeliner pens because that's what helps me achieve my cat eyes because I cannot use traditional liquid liner. So I'm glad about that. I also got a daily lip nourisher with mango and shea butter by Pure Lease and you guys, I tried this yesterday when I opened my bag and was looking through. I couldn't resist and I tried this and it feels good and it smells good. It does not have a taste, but it smells really good, you guys. Lippery, so it's more like a lip oil. At least that's what it felt like to me. It's like not quite as thick as Vaseline, but not as oily as actual oil. I'm gonna see if I can give you a little swatch there so yeah it's it looks like you know what it looks like aquaphor that's what it looks like to me so it's very emollient and very kind of once you rub it in it does kind of melt a little bit and become oily but it feels so good on the lips so i think i'm going to enjoy using this and i would go to say this would probably be a good nighttime treatment for your lips so put this on right before bed and i'm sure that you'll wake up with nice smooth um moisturized lips in the morning and then lastly i got this Trey Steak, Trey Steak Lip, no, this is a lip, matte lip crayon. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm so excited. I can't even talk properly, but this is in Belize Bordeaux, and this is what the packaging looks like, and this color is right up my alley. I love a burgundy lip in the fall time. I love a matte lip, and that's what it looks like right there. I'm going to be all over this color. I have to say I'm quite pleased with my glam bag, my very first glam bag. I've seen so many reviews and um, from what I can gather, sometimes it's hit or miss, but we are off to a good and wonderful start and I'm looking forward to receiving more glam bags from Ipsy. So that is the end of my video, guys. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. You know what I'm gonna tell you, stay sweet, stay beautiful, and remember there's always time for tea. I love you for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out so that you can keep in contact with me and in the know of when I upload my next video. I will talk at you at my next one. Mwah. I love you for watching. Bye-bye.